welcome back to the Cali G Kitchen. And welcome back to another episode of Prepping Like a G. So in this episode, we're going to prep some braised steak, some braising steak. Very easy to do. All we're going to do is brown off this meat. We're going to add a cup of water to the pan and then we're just going to cover it for a couple of hours. Uh, you might need to cut your steak up into portions as well. Let's have a look. So I'm going to probably... I'm going to leave them as they are. Nice sized steaks. They've got enough fat in these as well to be able to brown themselves so there's no need to add any sort of any oil to this pan once you've cooked this this can just be stored in the fridge for up to three or four days or in the freezer for up to three months and you can use this for all sorts you could use it for curries for stir fries for um what else for chilies uh, you can even chop some up and put it in a salad. Uh, you can refry it and like once this is done, it's quite good to, to, to refry. You slice it up into strips and then fry it. The possibilities are endless. This won't take long to prep at all, so well it will take a couple of hours, but I mean the initial part of it. Literally just gonna take us a couple of minutes just to kind of brown each side of the steak. Uh, then we'll add a cup of water. We'll turn the heat down on the low. And then we'll probably we'll just come back to it in like in a couple of hours. You could, when you add the water to this, or when you decide to turn it down onto a low heat, you could also transfer this to a slow cooker, and you could leave it in the slow cooker for three, two, three, maybe four hours, depending on how big your steaks are, depending on how fat these steaks are. Gonna give this one last little turn.
Okay, we're gonna add some salt. Some pepper. A little cup of water. Just wanna let that water kind of just bring it to the boil. And then we'll turn this onto a simmer. This just wants to be on very, very gentle simmer. We're going to place the lid on now. We are going to time two hours on the stopwatch. And then we'll come back. Probably check this in an hour, um, just to make sure that none of that water is about, to make sure that it hasn't dried up. Probably be okay, but we'll check that in an hour. Like I say, if it needs any more liquid putting in, we'll just add a little bit more water. Um, but yeah, we'll see you again soon for part two.